Faber Piano Adventures, level 4, pages 24, 25, and 26. The song is called The Spy. I'm going to play through it once, and then we'll talk about all the different details of it. Right hand's going to start on middle C, F and A. Left hand's going to go down bass C, low C, and come up to D here. And we're going to play this ostinato repeating pattern a bunch of times. We're also playing in the key of D minor, so don't forget we're going to be flatting all the Bs, unless it says otherwise. And let's take a listen to the piece. I'm going to go through this just page by page. We've got an ostinato or this repeating pattern here. So that's really the left hand for most of the piece. So you want to get good at playing 5, 5, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Just like that. Now I'm going to go through and we're playing these chords with each measure, starting on measure 3. You make sure, because they're whole notes, you want to hold them out the whole time. there holding out that D. Hold it out. Hold it out. Staccato. Axis. And then. Now for that part right there, if you don't get the rhythm, if you still don't feel one and two and three and four and one and two like that, you need to be able to count and play, okay? So if you're having issues with the rhythm, just count slow and play. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay? Now pedal here. Now there's a repeat mark here because this is the first ending. We pop back to the top of page 25, the last measure of that bar, and we play this again. this again. Again, pedal. Second ending, and now we're on to page 26. Chords again, same pattern in the left hand. Don't forget to hold them out. Staccato that one. Now both hands here, I'm at the measure 28 right now, or the end of the third bar on page 26. My right hand had to move down into the bass clef area onto D, okay, because I'm playing D in the low, low bass. So we're playing D, F, G, F sharp, A, F sharp, A, so it's the same pattern in both hands. And hold this one, one and two and three and four, and then play these accented, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... This, at the very end of the piece, we're playing not this low D. Okay, so here's middle C, bass C, low C. We're not playing this. There's an A V A below it. So we're going way down here and playing a low D. And you should be hitting it hard because there's a sforzando symbol above it. 
So that means we need to have a strong accent there at the end. Okay? Now it says, after you play this part at the very end, now we're getting ready to play the right hand, and it says prepare left hand because you just finished here and they want you to move your left hand down here and be ready. Okay, that's basically what they want you to do with that. Okay, if you're going to get these tempos right, you probably should count slow. I'm going to start on measure 28. Just go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 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 1 and 2 and Okay, so make sure you count things out, and it helps to write in the beats. Don't just try to do it in your head unless you think you're really, really good at the beats. Other than that, hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to play the spy. Um, the only other thing I wanted to point out was back here on page 25. Notice that the chords on measure 15 and 16, they start off written all in the bass clef here. And then it shifts to treble. So it's left hand's playing these bass notes, and the right hand should be coming down into the bass clef playing those chords. And now we're in the treble. So just know that your right hand's supposed to go down there. Some people think they're supposed to play all that with their left hand. No, your right hand plays the chords, your left hand plays those bass notes. Again, I'm talking about measures 15 and 16. Okay, uh, that should do it. Good luck with the spot.